and let's go to 1998 because there's a, a big local tournament that happens around here called the eight ball shootout in Eveleth, Minnesota. And in 1998, you won that tournament. And, and even though, uh, you know, on a grand scale of things, when you think of Eveleth, Minnesota, it's not that big of a city or town, but there's a lot of prestige that comes along with that tournament. I've heard a lot of pool players talk about how much they love it. And when you look at a list of players that have played in that tournament, uh, it's a who's who of players in the area or, and even in, uh, in the Canadian area as well, players come down and play. Uh, so tell me a little bit about that Eveleth tournament, because that's a topic that I haven't covered yet on the show. The Eveleth tournament's a great tournament. Uh, I can't remember how long they've been running. I think it's, they actually, I think the first year they ran it was in like 1988. I went, and, I want to say I went in 89. I, I went to the second or the third, third year they started. And I think the first year Mark Ridgewell won and Robbie Dugard won the second year. One of them too, or I think they both won that tournament the first and second year. And I'm not a hundred percent sure on that, but I know Robbie won and I'm pretty sure Mark Ridgewell won that also, but I can't, I can't be sure. I know Robbie won for sure, but yeah, I was, a. I mean, it, it used to be a lot bigger than it is now. I, it, I think they limit it down to 96 players now. And it used so, to be a yeah. hundred and I think it used to be like 128. And there's been a few years that they've, they've opened it up. They had another bar up there. And uh, I think they the most they had was 164, if I'm not mistaken. I think they bounced, bounced it. Up. That happened. One of the years I won was the 164 or 148 or, or something like that, 146. But it's a great tournament. Uh, the people up there are great. Um, uh, you know, it, it doesn't cost much to play in. Uh, you pump your own quarters. It's a short race to three. Uh, loser breaks. Um, uh, I think the girls get a one-game handicap. Uh, it, it, it's, you know, Friday – Friday night used to be a, a blast up there. I mean, everybody was up there early, uh, more or less drinking, not even playing pool. You know, there'd be some gambling going on. There used to be some guys come down. Uh, uh, one guy, his name was Duke Colfer from uh, Fort Francis. Uh, he'd come down, he'd play anybody, and then there were some locals up there, Doug Nelson and Clarence Phelps. And they were open to playing anybody as well. I mean, so there was there was some action up there on Friday nights, and and uh, yeah, it was, it's a great tournament. All the bars up there they feed you uh, Saturday and Sunday. Um, you know, it, it, a lot of drinking going on. It's a lot of fun. I mean, it, the pizza up there, Snickers they put out. I want to say one year, guy that owned Snickers up there actually put Snickers pizza in Lucky's when we built Mr. Lucky's over there, uh, Mm -hmm. he was in Mr. Lucky's for, I want to say about six months or so. But uh, I want to say he put out like 160 or 80 pizzas or something like that one year. (laughs) Wow. I mean, every 15 minutes they bring down two or four pizzas, you know, all day long, uh, both days. I mean, it is just a lot of pizza. (laughs) But but it's a it's a great tournament. The, the tournament actually is uh, uh, named after a guy named Ron Moronic. When I went up there, I was pretty young. I was only like 22 years old, and Ronnie was uh, he was pretty old at that time. I'd say he was in his well, not old. He he was in his 60s at that time, maybe even a little bit older. He might have been in his late 60s, but. Uh, he was kind of hard of hearing, much like I am now. Um, but uh, he, we kind of got to be kind of friends, you know. He, he kind of liked me. I was just a little guy, you know, and I was up and coming, trying to, trying to be, you know, be a player, you know. And uh, I kind of hung around with him a little bit up there and, and watched him play and stuff. And he passed away, but they named it after him, Ron Moronic uh, Memorial. I don't know if they do. I think the plaque burned down in Sleeves Bar uh, when Sleeves uh, Bar burned down up there, Joe Sleeves. But uh, it, it's a little different now than it was. They don't have as many bars. Joe's Bar, the 
Sportsman's Inn's burned down uh, a few years back, and he used to run the tournament. He was kind of the head. Him and Lyle Johnson uh, kind of ran the, the tournament, and they did a great job. Uh, but it's a it's a lot of fun. Saturday night, Calcutta, you know, about 11 o'clock at night, and you got – 80 do you know people in there and they're pretty well liquored up and they're <laughs> gonna buy some people <laughs> it, was a, it was a lot of fun i mean it was, a, it was a good time and and if you go to uh the red gardener up there it's really a neat place uh they used to have it on channel 12 or whatever the pbs channel up there they actually used to video and put it on tv years ago but the the they have an actual balcony up above the pool table. So back when I was going there, they'd have the finals there and you can, I mean, the place was packed. There'd be, you know, a hundred people, you know, watching the finals of, you know, the last three, four matches of the tournament. It, it was pretty, it was pretty cool. I mean, it is like almost like in a movie, you know, you got people up above and there's people packed around people standing up, you know, trying to see and uh, really a cool, cool place for the finals i mean uh just for the bar atmosphere i mean unless you have uh bleachers or something but um it, it's it's very similar but yeah people hanging over the edge of the, the balcony up there and it, it's <laughs> it's a really cool i mean if you haven't experienced it i really suggest you know you get a hold of chad falcon he runs a tournament up there now and he does a good job but uh it, it's it's a really cool place i mean it's a lot of fun a lot of Duluth players go up there. A lot of Canadian, you know, guys from Thunder Bay come down now. But, yeah, it's a really cool place. 